What's up guys, today we're going to be having a look at the new magnetic mask feature in Final Cut Pro 11. This feature is very similar to the Mroto AI effect that I've been using a lot recently in my videos. So I'm pretty excited that Final Cut Pro has added this feature. And later on in the video, I'm going to be testing it out head to head versus the Mroto AI effect to see which one works best. To use the magnetic mask effect, all we need to do is select the video clip and go to the wand icon here. Then we can go to add magnetic mask. And with one click, it's added a pretty accurate mask around the car here, which is really impressive. We can click and add some more points onto the mask. And then if we hold down option and click, we can delete some of the points to make a bit more of an accurate mask. Then we just need to click analyze up here. Now it's going to go through the video clip and track the mask to the subject that we selected. And it's done a really good job of doing that. Now the mask is done, let's click done. And straight away, it will just remove the background. From here, we can copy and paste the video clip. And on the bottom layer, let's delete the mask. And now on this top video clip, we can add some effects. So if I added a mask low effect, now because we've masked it out, the effect is only going to add to that top layer. And if I create another layer and add this offset effect to the bottom video clip, now I've created this cool effect. These effects you can find on my website. I'll link them in the description. Another cool feature of this effect is that we can drag it straight onto the subject. So if I drag one of these pixel scan effects onto my video clip and straight over my subject, it will automatically create the mask. And then let's just click the analyze button. Now that's going to track that mask. And then it will automatically add that effect to the mask that we just tracked which is another really cool feature, making it super easy and quick to add effects to your videos. The only thing I don't like about this method is that if we turn the effect off, then it also gets rid of the mask and we're just left with the original video clip. Now let's test the magnetic mask effect against the Mroto AI effect and see which one has the better results. It looks like it's really struggling to pick up what I want to mask out on this video clip. I think because there's a lot of contrast, the white and the dark areas, as you can see, it's just created a really bad mask. Now let's add the Mroto AI effect and see how that does with this video clip. The Mroto AI effect has done a much better job of creating the mask and it works just as quick as well. So I'm definitely going to keep this effect in my library for now until Final Cut Pro can make theirs a little bit better. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.